Hi everyone, welcome to another learning episode. Today, I will share with you an overview of the characteristics of quantitative research and qualitative research. If you are a senior high school student, you would know that grade 11 students take up practical research one or qualitative research and grade 12 students take up practical research two, which is a quantitative research. Now we are going to determine the differences between the two in terms of different categories. We'll start with the type of data they are collecting. For quantitative research, the type of data it is collecting is numerical data. That is why we have statistics. Uh, most of the time, we provide checklists and survey questionnaires for our respondents to answer. For qualitative research, the type of data it is collecting is non-numerical data and visual data. So the researcher could do interviews, focus group discussions, observation, and content analysis. Now, let's proceed to the number of participants involved in this type of research. For quantitative research, it involves larger participants because we have to take into consideration the total population and compute the sample size. Now, for qualitative research, it has smaller participants because we have to create inclusion criteria first. We have to identify the specific characteristics we want for our conversation partners in the study. Now, for the interaction between the participants and the researcher, with quantitative research, it has very little interaction because as you provide checklists or survey questionnaires to your respondents, the only thing you could do is to instruct them on how to answer it. And right after that, after they put all their responses, you get the questionnaire and then um, that's the end of your interaction because all you do after that is to tally and gather all the responses and do the stats. While with qualitative research, it has extensive interaction because you have to interview and you have to establish trust and connection between your participants because you have to know their experiences, their stories, their narratives. And I will proceed in terms of the research procedures. Now, for quantitative research, it relies heavily on statistical procedures. So when we want to measure the level of productivity of teachers, of course, we need to use the statistical tool, which is the mean or the average. And if we want to measure the level of motivation, the same thing. Everything relies heavily on statistical tools. Now, for Qualitative research is different, especially when you do thematic analysis. What you're going to do is to check the pattern from the responses of your conversation partners and then cluster these patterns and then formulate themes. Now, if you are doing content analysis, if it's a conceptual content analysis, all you have to do is to check the reoccurring pattern also and then count its frequency and then right after that, form your analysis. And for the last category, which is the underlying belief, for quantitative research, it believes that the world could be understood and generalized. So that sample size we get from the total population could actually represent what we are measuring. Now for qualitative research, it believes that the world has a lot of meanings. So if you interview selected individuals or group of individuals who have the same experiences and stories, they have something to share and they have some stories to tell and that needs understanding from the public also. So in general, these are the characteristics of quantitative research and qualitative research. And I hope this presentation gives you a light bulb and enlightens you to whatever you want to study in the future. It might it be a quantitative research or qualitative research. Thank you everyone for watching. Keep on learning.